Being the first Grand Tour of the year, the Giro d'Italia always gets us very excited indeed. I wonder what's in this one. Wow, Matt Stevens in a Giro, Giro, Giro leader's helmet. But it's not just for that reason. The Giro is held on beautiful roads, the fans are passionate, and more often than not, the racing is enthralling and very unpredictable indeed. Now, here are 10 riders to watch, five of whom you'll know very well, and the other five are lesser knowns, who we think may just upset the apple cart. Let's start with a couple of sprinters. First off, Marcel Kittel of Etix Quickstep. Now, he's had such a spectacular start to the 2016 season, we've almost forgotten how disastrous 2015 was for him. Now, last time he rode the Giro d'Italia in 2014, he actually won every road stage that he participated in, partly because he did abandon due to illness on stage four. But nonetheless, that's still a pretty enviable record. Now, we think he'll definitely be the man to beat on the flatter stages, especially in the form he's in at the moment. His biggest rival could be fellow countryman Andre Greipel, who at the time of recording this video has got three wins already this year. Now, his Lotto Sudal squad do look to have a slightly better lead-out train on paper than that of Etix Quickstep, which could play to his advantage. But don't expect either rider to make it through the whole three weeks of the Giro. One man who'll be looking to spoil the party, perhaps, is Jakob Moretzko of Southeast Venezuela. Now, you may remember him from the Tour San Luis back in January, when he infamously outsprinted national squad teammate Elliot Viviani, and that didn't go down too well at all. Now, since then, he's had a further two wins, and this could be the first chance for the 21-year-old to shine on the biggest stage. Sergei Fursanov of Gazprom Brosvelo is last his surprise prediction for the general classification. Now he's had an incredible year so far, winning the Coppa Ibatali and also placing fourth overall against some really stiff opposition in the Giro del Trentino. Now he's no spring chicken, he's 33 years of age, but under 60 kilograms, so he'll relish the chance to shine on the steep gradient that the Giro often provides. Another rider making his Grand Tour debut is Primoz Roglic. Now that's primarily because he spent most of his formative years as a world-class ski jumper before making the switch last year to pro cycling. Now he was picked up at the back end of 2015 by Lotto Enel Jumbo after winning the tours of Slovenia and Azerbaijan. And he certainly hasn't been outclassed riding at world tour level either. A stage win is a distinct possibility for him. Of our five outsiders, Ilna Zakharin, the Russian on the Katusha team, is by far the most well-known. Now, he came to Providence with a surprising victory in the Tour of Romandy last year, outclassing such luminaries as Chris Froome, for example. He then went on to win a stage of the Giro d'Italia and had a very strong final week. So in this year's Giro, we definitely think he'll be heading into the race with far higher expectations in relation to the general classification. Finally, Mahawi Kudis may not be a big international name yet, but he's certainly a big star in his home of Eritrea. Now, he's been developing very nicely since his stint at the UCI World Cycling Centre three years ago. Now, this is actually his third Grand Tour, but his first participation in the Giro. And without an out-and-out -out GC leader, Dimension Data should give him a fair degree of freedom in the fight for stage wins. So, who are the favourites? Well, Vincenzo Nibali has to be at the top of the list because his Grand Tour pedigree is the best in this field by far. Although his start to the 2016 season hasn't been overly spectacular, but when that has been the case in the past, he's often delivered when it matters most. And Nibali has an added motivation because he's still searching for a team and a contract for 2017. Mikel Landa was arguably the strongest on the climbs at last year's Giro, especially in the final week. He took two stage wins and third overall, despite working throughout for teammate Fabio Aru. Now this year, having joined Team Sky, he comes into the Giro d'Italia as out and out leader. And although he had a very difficult start to the season with illness and injury, his form at the moment is on the ascendancy, as illustrated with an overall win at the Giro del Trentino. Finally, Alejandro Valverde can never be counted out. This is his main goal for the first part of this season, and at 36 years of age, shows no sign of letting up. He's had the most wins of the three favourites and is the most consistent, but importantly, he has an extremely strong Movistar squad to back him up. 
Now you may have picked some different riders and we'd like to hear from you. Who would you have picked and why? And leave your comments in the section just down below. Now for some more Giro content, head up here for our Giro playlist. And for our 2016 Giro d'Italia preview show, click just down here. And as ever, to subscribe to GCN, click on the red globe and share this video and like it too.